European diplomats are involved in last-ditch efforts to convince Russia to stop aiding military strongman Khalifa Haftar seize control in Libya. The European Union hopes that Russia can instead persuade Haftar to settle for an enhanced military role but under civilian command within Libya's government of national unity. European diplomats are pushing for reconciliation between the UN-backed government of national unity and the military commander of Libya's eastern government. This is important for the European Union, which needs a viable government to work with to control the flow of refugees across the Mediterranean. Russia's role in Libya is expected to feature in talks between the Italian Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni and Theresa May in London. Right, for more on this now, we're joined by CGTN's Daria Bondachuk in Moscow. Uh, Daria, thank you. Good afternoon there. Has Moscow issued a statement on the progress of the Libya talks? Yes, uh, well, Russia has been uh, trying to make sure that the opposing sides of the Libyan conflict do uh, get in uh, um, uh, do get f uh, at some sort of uh, negotiations and that they do find some uh, way for a dialogue. We know that there has been um, a, a very large divide between the various uh, sides uh, that have now uh, cap uh, taken control and are controlling uh, different uh, parts of uh, Libya and that in order for the uh, Libyan uh, people to reunite and uh, to find a uh, uh, sort of a way out of the several years crisis in uh, the country that followed the downing of uh, General Gaddafi. The um, sorry, the um, uh, when uh, Gaddafi was ousted and later killed, that uh, Russia felt had provoked a chaos in the country, and uh, since then has been trying to find and uh, support those voices inside Libya that. Uh, call for reconciliation and for a constructive dialogue that could help uh, the Libyan country to reunite and to find uh, and come out of a legal uh, dual situation where we have two, in fact, two governments uh, or people who would like to take part in the uh, unification government and uh, to uh, find the voice and be able to participate in the legal process of bringing Libya together. Well, uh, Daria, there are fears uh, from the European Union, though, that if uh, General Khalifa Haftar is given more power, it may not bode well for peace in Libya. What is Moscow's position on that? Well, uh, Russia has been uh, in part supporting of uh, the General Khalifa and uh, we know that uh, he has visited Moscow and uh, Russia has been trying to uh, once again uh, find way to support various voices in uh, Libya, inside Libya, who uh, control different parts of the country and who are trying to find uh, sort of political dialogue and a solution for the future of the country and to make sure that uh, some of the voices are being taken into account on uh, when uh, the Libyan issue is being discussed internationally. Right, uh, Daria Bondachuk joining us there from Moscow.